Amen. And so we are grateful again. Glory to God, woman of God. If you have to shift, amen, just slip right there. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen, 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 amen. Impartation of the blessing today. Yes, Jesus. Impartation of the blessing today. When we begin to look at the word of God, we begin to see how the blessing was transferred. And, and, and a lot of us in the body of Christ, we have missed the transfer. The transfer of the blessing. A lot of us, we, we are um, very, very amazed at the prophetic. Are you hearing me? We're very amazed of prophesying. But a lot of us can prophesy, but we're not blessed. Because you need the impartation of the blessing. Are you hearing me? And so, and especially to those that have businesses, you don't just want to start something and then you see it and then it flops. You want to see it and you want to see a potential to flourish. And that's because you're missing a main ingredient. And that is because you're missing an impartation of the blessing, the blessing of Abraham. So we're going to deal with that today. Glory to God. The impartation of the blessing. Here it is. The word impartation is the ability to give unto others that which God has given to one. Now, right there, we all can say, well, mm, that's kind of hard because a lot of people don't like to share what God has given them. And if they do share it, it's to certain ones. But if what you have, you are confident in what you have, that what God has given you, it has been tailor-made just for you, you would not be, glory to God, intimidated. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't mind showing somebody how to get to where you got to. That's it. They can't do it like you, and they're not like you. That's and so it. for that reason, why would you want to hold back? Are you hearing you me? Hearing Even me. if a person tries to intimidate you, they have missed the main ingredient. What have they missed? You sold out. Right. What have they missed? You have done the leg history of what it is you're That's doing. Right. Are you hearing me? So there are certain things they don't have that you have. So even if they will try to, in, you know, to, to mimic you, uh, they can't be you. They miss something. And so you got to be encouraged. Don't be so when God take you there that you can't turn around and, and, and have your hand back and grab somebody else and to mentor them. Are you hearing me? Uh-huh. Tell them that. We'll do, Holy Ghost. You are no greater than who you have called to, to, to pass you. Come on. If you think you all that, then show me the person that you have poured into and they're doing greater than what you're doing. If you can't point and show it, then you, you don't have nothing. You don't have nothing. Are you hearing me? You know, I don't want nobody to steal what I got. Well, then guess what? You're not ready. You're not even ready because that's the spirit of selfishness. And when God, amen, has put his hands on you, 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 and you, and me, glory to God, to do something mighty, he are always have somebody else in mind. Joshua, come here and talk to Moses. Come on here. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. Come on here. He always has somebody he's going to impart into to carry the what? The torch. That's right. Are you hearing me? Nobody is saying amen. Y'all right. must amen. be scared. Amen. Glory to God. There are some people God has earmarked for you to mentor. That's right. Yes, you right. You right. But see, we got to, sometimes we have to wait. That's just how we are. We got to wait until we hit that million dollar mark and then we will mentor. But let me help you with something. How can you want more information in your spirit? And you have not relieved or released the information you already got. Come on. See, you got to make room for more. Mm -hmm. See, that was good right there. You got to make room for more. All the information you got right now, you should already be working it out right now. So therefore, now that you see that it is working, you need to do what? You need to pour into somebody else and get ready for the more. Yes. Is everybody here? Did everybody go home? Yeah. Amen. We are here at the impartation of the gathering of impartation. The Lord told me to do Facebook Live. I don't know how many minutes we're going to get on this, but listen, don't just take this and be shouting because this ain't church. Right. Ain't nobody saying nothing. When you listen, if you listen for the drums, go to church Sunday. Okay. If you're listening for the keyboard, go to church Sunday. Amen. This is dealing with business, people that have businesses and people that got a ministry that want to reach out. Are you hearing me? That's what these things are about. Okay. So to those that have businesses, you have ministries and you've been doing it, you've been sitting. I just want to know where is your mentor or mentee? 
You have to begin to pour into them. You have to begin to take them, glory to God, into a quiet setting. Are you hearing me? And begin to do a one-on-one. -on -one. Are you hearing me? This is what this is. God, it's not that you're not doing it, but God get ready to put fire under you. Yes. Because you have such a big vision and you will never reach it in the, in the timing and in the, and in the speed that you're going because you're too busy trying to hoard, glory to God, all the information. And that's why you're going slow. Because you have never poured into somebody else. The more you pour, come on, come on. here comes scripture. What do you have in your house? The more you pour into somebody, the more you get. It's not more you pour that you will be depleted. It's the more you pour, the more you get. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. And look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor you are not too old to start your own business. Because we pray about what, God? We need what? More money. And God said, what you have in your hands, what you have in your mind. Amen. Are you hearing me? But the thing, the key that I found out, prophetess, glory to God, some people don't know how to start it. If they just get a jump start, they on their way. Where's the people that will help somebody to jump start it? Look at y'all looking at me. And you say, well, I ain't got the money, but you got information. You keep looking at money when God says you got information. Information is knowledge. Are you hearing me? The people perish because of lack of And that's information. Information will take you a long way. When you ain't got no money, you got information. Are you hearing me? If you ever go down, you can come back up because you got information. Are you hearing me? I don't know about y'all, but we got dreams sitting in us. Are you hearing me? How often, how long are you going to dream about it? Glory to God, it's time for you to take it from the dream book, Hello Lights, and put it on a paper. Once you put it on a paper and you begin to put the diagram on it, it's time for move from the diagram and move to the next step. How serious are you about what God has given you? How serious are you about what he put in your spirit? You can't look to the right. You can't look to the left. Are you hearing me? Because some people may not be as serious as you are. And they may be just going slow. Are you hearing me? If you say that you have a business, it's a multi-million dollar business, and you running around with the chickens, you ain't going to get the multi bit. Look at y'all. Looking at a sister. Are you God, when he ministered, let me tell your apostle, you can't hang out with the chickens because you are ego. Yes. That's right. And he said, you know, chickens, they walk on the ground. Eagles, they fly. Come on here. And those that have business and dreams of business, it cannot be on the ground. It got to be what? In the air. Because you got to, uh-huh, tell them that you got to be mobile. You got to be able to fly. You got to know to realize that though I stay in the city of Ontario, California, my business can go to New York, New York. Look at y'all looking at me. But if you don't have a mentality and you don't have people around you that think like that, you will stay right there at the corner store. Y'all, look at y'all looking at a sister. Uh-huh, because y'all know how it was when you was growing up the corner store. Come on, mama said, I need you to run and go get me a little sugar. Go to the corner store. I don't feel like going to a major store. And so we run to the corner store. The corner cool. store, what, jacked everything up. Come on here, somebody. Woo, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Then jacked it up. Look at y'all. Hallelujah. But you got to realize you got to come from the corner and go to the world. Come from the corner and go to the world. That's it. I ain't get nobody to say nothing. Come from the corner, which is your corner, and begin to launch out what? To the world. Launch out to the world. Are you hearing me? Well, about three years, Apostle, I see myself doing this. I see myself being big. Well, I see you being big right now. Why would you wait to three years? Why would you wait to three years? Glory to God. Hallelujah. You need somebody that you need to pour into. You need to say, Lord, bring somebody across my path. Glory to God, that because you have given me such a jewel that I need to pour into somebody else. And as the more you pour, the more information you get. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. And I expect you all that's coming in here, I expect you to give me an invitation of your impartation. I needed a greeter right there. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. Because why? You got the ability. You have something that somebody else needs. And you need to do what? Start pouring. Yes. 
Come you on. need to start pouring. Come on. And you need to start pouring, not just listen. I love going to the building called the church, but you got to learn how to take it from the four walls because there are certain people that's not coming to the four walls because first of all, they don't know the dialect of what way we talk. Are you hearing me? They don't understand. Glory to God, but they understand. Look at y'all looking at me. Are you hearing me? See, they understand that. So you got to come down to where they at and then bring them to where you at. How is it that you, glory to God, did your business in six months It and tripled that quick? Now that's the door to now say, here it is. I'm now going to bring Jesus to you. Are you hearing me? Your vision, glory to God, the way you think must be broader than you. It must be broader than you. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Glory to God. And I heard the Holy Ghost say, you've got to sometimes go beyond your skin. Uh huh. Because we're comfortable with our own skin tone. Are you hearing me? But God says sometimes you're going to have to go outside the box. Are you hearing me? That people don't look like you. People don't talk like you. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? But they come from a foreign country, but they are really willing and ready to hear what you have to say. And I just heard the Holy Ghost told me to tell you get ready for the investors. You got to understand. Hiya. Oh, glory to God. You see, you need somebody to invest in what? What? You got to do something first. Come on. Yes. Amen. Not invest in no paper because it's still on paper. Yes. Come on. Ah. Still on paper. Are you Come hearing on. me? Because the questions are they going to have to ask you, glory to God, what is the marketing ability? Yes. Who have you been, amen, cloning to do this with? Glory to God. Has it already worked? Have you already tried it? Uh, shot yeah, how, how much of the profit all that so when God said he's about to bring an investor that means that you ready because you've been doing something are you hearing me and then he's going to say or she's going to say like I told him in Texas what is it about your product that I, I can go over here and buy somebody else's product and I use the scenario of a TV glory to God a flat screen TV so what the product of your flat screen TV is you have a, a just a little piece of tool behind it that will cause where everybody don't have to use direct TV. You don't have to use, glory to God, any other cable to get cable. But there's something that you already, God has called you, glory to God, to experience and to invent and to create. And now you're putting it on. Watch this. You put it on the TV. Now you make it your own. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's not the flat screen has made your own. It is the it is the piece that makes it your own. That's right. Are you hearing me? Glory. Glory to God. That's what makes it your own. Woo! My God from Zion. Glory to God because they will ask you what makes yours so different. I could just go over here and buy another flat screen TV. Are you hearing me? But this one piece, this is my signature. This is this is my business. This is my company. This one little piece changes now. Glory to God. It changes the scenery. And now that is your own. Now that is your brand. Now. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. Well, Apostle, they already got towels out. Well, Apostle, they already got handkerchiefs out. Well, Apostle, they already got shoes out. Well, Apostle, they already got... I just told you how you make it different, how you make it yours. Come on here. Come on here. Glory to God. It takes that, right? Amen. So what are we going to do about it? So therefore, you need a what? A mentor. Uh huh. A grace, a grace of power is released into your life that is only tailor made for you when it's time for impartation. Are you hearing me? We call it, we go to, uh, well, I got to go to this conference. You know, I'm getting ready to get some more knowledge uh, regarding the company. They get ready to give me more insight on the company. The things they have just brought a man up into play. What we call it super uh, upgrade or super size, you know, or something add to it. Well, you got to understand, God said grace is the key for you. Grace is the key for you. Grace is the power. That is what's going to make it. That's what's going to make it work. Are you hearing me? And it's tailor made just for you. You don't want to be like everybody else. Glory to God. My brother, he's a twin, but they're not identical twins. 
Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. And even if they was identical twins, it had to be something different about them. They was twins because they was but born at the same time. Right. But there has to be something different about them. Are you hearing me? Right. If not, then they should have been what? Connected together like yeah. that. Are yeah. you hearing me? And so we need to understand that God said there's certain things that I tailor made just for you. That's right. Just for you. Are you hearing me? So these impartations are supposed to make you and I to have a supernatural life change. That means you come in here, glory to God, and experience something from the Lord that makes you say, mm, you know what I was working on that the other week? Mm, I'm going to go for it now. Yeah. Right there. I'm going to go for it now. Come on here. Glory to God. Because if you could just stop looking at your money for a minute and just get some faith, you're going to make it happen. Come on. Are you hearing me? Amen. Glory to God. And so on that note, as we begin to keep moving further in this, I dreamed a dream last night. Or dreamed a dream this morning. However, before I got up, how about that? Right. Glory to God. And here in the dream was, I was in this place and in this place. Uh, some of you all watch Star Trek. Some of you, you all don't. But this is the only way that I can bring yeah. you to some understanding of where... Uh, 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 how the place looked. Uh, we was in this building. It was not literally like a building. It was like you had sticks up and it was up high. I knew I was in the heavens. Mm, come on. Come and, on. And, and, and down the hall, everything was white. Mm -hmm. Everything around me was white. Okay. And there was doors. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me? And to, and to the, uh, to, mm -hmm. when I come out my room, to the right of me was a big picture window. I knew that was the eyes of God. Mm -hmm. Because anytime you're having a dream and you look through a window, that's the eyes of God. Are you hearing me? So when I was looking through the window in the corner, there was an angel sitting there. Because so, the angel can look down that way, down that hallway, and down the hallway where my room was at. Are you hearing me? And when I stepped out my room and walked up to the window and began to look, it was ocean everywhere. Wow. There was no land. It was just ocean everywhere. Y'all not getting it. No, no, no. It was no land. It was ocean every. Uh -huh. It was ocean uh -huh. everywhere, and it was not looking like the ocean that we see in the earth. Oh. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. I'm getting ready to blow somebody's mind, and I begin to. God began to have me to fix my eyes on the waves, and the waves was coming in, and they were coming in. But when they were coming in, prophetess, the waves where I can bring it to your understanding, so you can understand what I saw. Glory to God. It looked like. Cool Whip. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Oh, it looked like cool whip and it was the force of the wave and, it, and I just kept looking glory to God and then I looked at the angel that was sitting and he said nothing because he was just watching and then I walked away from the window and I went back to my room and when I opened up the door the number on my door was number 9 glory to God and I went back in the room and then I came back out of my room and went back to because it was the, the scenery was so glory to God phenomenal that it didn't matter what was going on in my room I had to come out and see Glory to God and the force of the glory of God. Because last weekend I was in the mountains and God said, You are in the glory. You don't hear me. You are in the cloud. Are you hearing me? And now God is my God causing glory to God the ripple effect. He's causing the force behind your back now. He is pushing you. He is speeding you up. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. And when I begin to look at that nine, it is divine completeness, meaning the finale. My God from Zion. See, I don't need to be sitting down. I'm getting ready to stand up in a minute. Hallelujah. Divine completeness, meaning finale. Christ died at the ninth hour. Uh huh. At the ninth hour of the day was 3 p.m. My God, the impartation is from 11 to 3. You better. Hallelujah. Glory to God from Zion. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the door represents communication because in the book of Revelation, chapter 4, verse 1, God tells John the Revelator, He opens the door and say come up hither because it's time for me and you to communicate it's time for me and you to talk I'm going to show you what's getting ready to happen hereafter but what got me I didn't see no sand I didn't see no land it was ocean it was water all around that was the glory of God and it was many doors but my number had number nine on it Oh, if you in here God says some finales in your life have just come to you he, in other words some things have come to completeness. You have accomplished it. On this day, said the Lord. 
Glory to God. And if you are watching, saying go for you. Glory to God. This is the impartation. God said, I've told you. I've given you dreams. I've spoken to you. And he said, now I bring a close to one scenario. And now I'm getting ready to open up another door. And the glory of God is upon you. And the force of God is upon your back and going to push up. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, you should have got your rest when you're supposed to got your rest. It's time to go to work now. It's time to go to work now. My God. Did the woman of God say it in intercessory? Oh, God is talking in here. My God. And I told them, glory to God. Anytime God echoes, he come back and echoes. Not many days hence this thing get ready to come to pass. When you hear it back to back like that, not many days hence this thing shall come to pass. You better start looking. You better get yourself together. You better get your portfolio together. You better get your business plan together. You better have all your dot, your eyes dot, your T's cross, your commas where it need to be because God gonna bring who is needed to come to you, said the Lord. But this is a day of impartation of blessings. Woo! You better come on. One, two, three. Three times. Three times. All right. Three times. They said it was three times. It was three times. My God. If it was three times, somebody better shout in here. Somebody better give God the glory in here. Because God is worthy to be praised. I'm talking glory to God to business people. I'm talking to those that are in here and those that are on Facebook Live. God said, I've given you a dream. And not just a dream of a house, but I've given you a dream of a business. And God said, get up and start doing it. For the glory of the Lord is pushing you. The glory of the Lord has speeded up the force. The momentum has speeded up. Who am I talking to in here? If I'm talking to you, say yay! Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. There's some things that came to finalization. The finale is here. Look at your neighbor say the finale is here. It's here, it's here, it's here. Glory to God. Woo! My God, my God. Hallelujah. Hey. said the waiting days is over. Glory to God. The waiting days is over. And if the waiting days is over, you better take it by force. Are you hearing what the Lord is saying? Somebody clap your hands and say yes. Thank you, Lord. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. As I both see, did you hear me? It's going to work. Here it is, the book of Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 21. The Bible decrees the word of God to be so. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. In other words, God said that we, amen, humanistic, the people, whether you're the people of God or just people in general, you got to understand we got many devices in our heart. We got many plans in our heart. But the only plan that's going to stand is the plan of God. And so whatever it is that you have, amen, glory to God, on, on your portion portfolio, if you have not talked to God, if God did not give you the okay, are you hearing me? Then God is not obligated to help that to stand. That's right. That's right. That's right. So you got to understand you will, glory to God, come into a tight spot. But if you did not sit down and talk to God and allow God to approve the plan, because if he approved the plan, then he mixed himself in it. And if he mixed himself in it, when you and I come to, glory to God, a corner, and we can't seem to get out of that corner, he said, be still and know that I am God. Are you hearing me? We have many devices in our heart, but only the counsel, the advice of God, that's what's going to stand. So whatever business you got, it may look good.
something on paper, but that doesn't mean it'll look good when you start trying to make it happen. Except God be God in it. Except the Lord build the house. Except the Lord build your business. Is anybody listening? Or did everybody go home? Except the Lord build your business. Uh, then you are laboring in vain. I know it's except the Lord build the house. We always trying to put that up on the church. Glory to God. The God I serve, he's in expansion, God. We try to keep God in the box of the church. But the God that I serve said, go to the marketplace. Hello, somebody. Glory to God. Accept the Lord build your business. Accept the Lord build your ministry. Accept the Lord build your outreach. Are you hearing me? You want to try to have a meeting with a bunch of, amen, physical people when you never had a, amen, Lord have mercy. You never had the first business meeting with God. You never sat down and talked to God. You never said, God, here is my plan, but what's your plan? Lord, glory to God. Here is the materials that I want to use. But God, what material do you want me to use? Uh, who am I talking to? Glory to God. You may have a good plan, but if God ain't in it, it ain't going to work. It's not going to work because Proverbs told us. So what am I saying to us to encourage us? Please make sure that you have already. Don't incorporate God by telling him what you're going to do. That's not what I'm talking about. Incorporate God like that. Uh, when I say incorporate God, you sit down and say, okay, God, here go my plan. Right. Now, God, what is it that, that, that you approve of and what is it that you don't approve of? Uh -huh. Because, you know, when you and I get into some type of trouble, any type of trouble, any type of storm, any type of weather that's coming against us, who the first person we going to call? Uh -huh. All right. And if he has not been included, he's not obligated to get you out. Uh -huh. Read your word. Come on here. Glory to God. If you got the strength, you got the ability, you got the money, you got the know-how, why call me, say the Lord. You didn't call me at the beginning, so now call on your money. Call on your ability. Call on your strength to get you out. Why would God be the first one on the page for you to call to get you out when he was not the first person on the page that had the first business meeting with? Anybody listen or did everybody go home? Glory to God. It tells you in the book of Proverbs. It tells you right there. Glory to God. So on that note, everybody go to 1 Kings. 1 Kings chapter 19. Glory to God. So whatever plans that you have, whatever business plans that you have, whether outreach ministry or ministry plans that you have, glory to God, before you take it to any other human being, before you even conversate with any other human being, let it be with God first. And don't move until you hear back from God. Yeah. Come on. Amen. Come on. Right 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 don't move until you hear back from God. And God don't have a problem in talking. God don't have a problem in responding. Who am I talking to? Because if you talk to him, he'll talk back to you. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. Hallelujah. So 1 Kings chapter 19 is where we're going in here. 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 19. The Bible decrees the word of God to be so. So he departed thence and found Elisha, the son of Shaphat, who was plowing. What was he doing? Plowing. He was working. Work. God is not looking for nobody that's not working. God is not giving you nothing if you ain't working. Are you hearing me? God is not in the business. Glory to God, giving his anointing, giving his wisdom, giving his knowledge, his understanding to people that are sitting down doing nothing. We in 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 19. The Bible makes it plain that here it is. Elisha was doing what? He was working. And then it makes it plain and tell us what he was working with. He was working with oxen. That means the business. Y'all going to make me run around this place. Hallelujah. He was working. His father, they said they're going to run right behind me. <laughs> he was working his father's them business. Okay, okay. God looking for somebody that's going to put their hand to the plow and not going to look back. God is looking for somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Boshanda. My God will have the business plan and don't sit it in the corner and wait till next year. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. But have it and have it in front of them. And say, God, I need you to talk to me. I need you to tell me what I need and cannot do in this season. Who am I talking to? The Bible says right here. It says that he was what? He was plowing with 12. 12 is governmental. 12 is governmental. 12 is order. That's right. That's right. Come on. God said we got to have order in our life. A lot of us want to do business and we don't have no order at home. 
We don't have no order in our finances. We don't have no order in paying our bills. And you got to understand, if you can't pay your bills at home, how you going to pay your bills having your own job? Because you got to pay for material. You got to pay for labor. You got to pay for if you need extra help. And if you don't pay your, who am I talking to that everybody go home? Baby, you can't hack up old Shonda and act like that's going to pay it. No, you can't do your two step and act like that's going to pay it no. You got to sit down and come to reality Reality is this Yes I'm in the rim of the spirit I'm in the glory of God But there is still some things I need to do Because oh I'm what clothed in flesh Amen. I told him on last night Think about it no. If you take off this flesh with this clothes And you just walk in the spirit You have no need for Popeyes yeah. <laughs> come on. Popeyes is for the flesh yeah. The spirit don't want Popeyes no. The spirit wants the word of God. Yes. The spirit won't God. Yes. Are you hearing me? So since God clothed us, are you hearing me? Then there are just some things in our flesh that we have need of. But, but God is not supposed to be the last person on the totem pole. He's supposed to be the first. Are you hearing me? So God is not in a business giving a multi-business to somebody that's lazy. Can you stay right there? Dreamers got to come to reality. She said, repeat it again. God is not in the business giving a multi glory to God business to, to those that are lazy, laying on couches and dreaming. I wish you got to be what a go getter. You got to get up. Are you hearing me? You got to get up and you got to be about the father's business. See, we always want to, we want to put that with the church. Glory to God. But this is the father's business. Come on here, Jesus, because I'm going to pass out 10 talents. I'm going to pass out 10 talents. Glory to God. I'm going I'm to take my leave and I'm going to come back. Glory to God. And I'm going to see what you're going to do with this money I'm going to give you. He then when he did come back, one said, I knew, glory to God, that you know you all that in a barrel chips and a honeydew with a lemon on the side. So what I did, I hid mines in the ground. He said, if you knew I was all that, why you didn't put it in the bank and let it sit to get some interest? Woo! Oh my God. And see, on that note right there, if you don't have a savings account, you need to get one. And you need to put some money in it and don't touch it. Look at y'all looking at me. Come on. Are you hearing me? He said, if you knew I was all what you say, then you should have put it in the bank. And it would did what? It would accumulate the interest. You want to spin up everything that's in your hands. And the only thing you have is a piece of clothes, glory to God, that will not fit you in two days. Oh, because the prophet says, because of that Popeye's. <laughs> And so we need to understand, you got to have order. You have to have order. Twelve oxen. Twelve oxen? That means if he didn't have no order, them twelve oxen was going to run him. They was going to be dragging him all across that field. He had to have order with twelve oxen. Are you hearing me? God said, I am not in the business of giving stuff to people that's out of order. And God said, if you beg too much, I'll give it to you and sit back and see that you uh -huh, watch you fall and knew you wasn't ready for it. Come on now. Is anybody listening? Did everybody go home? So here it is. It's telling us right here, the 12 yoke of oxes before him. And he with the 12, watch this, and Elijah passed by. Now, how is his business about to go global? It wasn't going global as long as he was just doing it yeah, in the corner. Huh? But God had, glory to God, in mind. I don't want you just to, just to stick with the prophetic prophesy. You need to see the whole picture. Yeah, that's right. yeah, we're too busy. Saying, okay, see, yeah, he went to prophesy. And he, no, 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 no. This was a businessman. Yes, come on. He was a businessman. Yeah. And he said, in order for me to take a global, you need impartation. Yes, yes. And you need it from the prophetic. Yes, yes. <laughs> but he was a businessman. Yes, yes. He was working his parents' business. Yes, right. Are you hearing me? You can't sit here and say that you can work and be, glory to God, a greeter, and you don't have no business about it. You got to have a business mind. Yes. There's a way you sit people down. Just go over there and sit down. 
Yeah. Yes, it's ch just find any chair. Then guess what? You're not a business person. Hold on. I'm Glory here. to God. And so we need to realize that people that we are connecting with, they got to have some type of business mind. All right. Good customer service. Amen. Just as street as can be. Street. Come on here. Well, at least be street when it's time for business. They all right now. <laughs> and how can I help you today? Yes. Well, I thought she was the, no, no, you could catch me at five o'clock. But right now, <laughs> right now, I'm not LaQuisha. You see what I'm saying? It's time to do what? It's time to do business. Are you hearing me? So you can't say, well, this is the way I am and this is the way they're going to take me. And if they won't, no, you're not going to have no customers. Let alone you ain't going to have no employees. Let alone ain't nobody going to want to do any type of business or transaction with you. Are you hearing me? Oh, my God. And then if you're talking about, let's get CC, let's get it on credit. They ain't going to want to do no credit with you. Look how you're talking. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. So here it is, Elisha. He was, amen, a businessman. And then here come the prophet. The prophet passed by him, glory to God, and cast his mantle upon him. Cast his mantle upon him. Here, pass that. Take one and pass the envelope down. Yes. Take one and pass the envelope down. Hallelujah. Take one and pass the envelope down. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He passed by. He had something. He had something. He had something. Are you hearing me? Lord have mercy because impartation is what? Impartation is somebody that got something that will do what? Release and tell you something. This dollar is not to be spent. That's right. This dollar is to be put in a frame. Yes. Lord have mercy. Glory to God. And you are to write on this dollar what it is. It is going to be your first seed on the finance coming in. Yes, yes, yes. Jesus. Are you hearing me? So you got to go get a frame and frame this. Ooh, we got a dollar. We got that dollar right in there. Mm -mm. Because this is my business. All I want is you to pour information into me. You don't want none of my money. I know you heard how rich I was. No, no. Because if I could get the information... I can get that money just like you got. Yeah. What you say? What you say? What you say now? Ooh, and make it unique. That's true. Come on. Come and, on. And, 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 and Precious said, and make it unique. Yes. Yes. No, no, you keep your money. You give me the valuable. The money wasn't the valuable. Are you hearing me? It's the information. And here it is. The prophet said, what did I do to you? What did I just do to you? And guess what? That mantle was saying to him, you're about to pour into my life now. Because where I was just a businessman in a little field, now my business have just enlarged. Are you hearing me? Go to Exodus 31. Glory to God. Is there any business people in the house? Watch this. Is there any shouters in the house? Is there any worshipers in the house? Huh? And is there any business owners in the house? Glory to God. Hallelujah. My God, let's go to the book of Exodus 31. We are rolling right on through here. Glory well, right to God. Don't you dare spend that dollar. I don't care how low you get. That ain't to be spent. That is your first profit on your business that you have not even put on paper yet. Uh huh. And the prophet, glory to God, amen, came by you and put her mantle. Are you hearing me? God said you're getting ready, glory to God, to do something new. You're getting ready to add another business to the belt, the notch of your belt. Glory to God, hallelujah. And you already you weren't in here. Well, she said it was new. Well, y'all better shout. You weren't in here. Don't come tell me y'all heard something. Y'all just sitting there looking like. You can't tell me that. He's speaking for something new. Hallelujah. If God can came back and echoed it, what is God saying? If he echoed it and you heard it again, he said, not many days hence. This thing is getting ready to start. Come on, come on. How about that? Watch this. Watch this. What do we tell our kids? If I gotta say it to you one more time, that means echo this again right behind the first time. That means I'ma what? Do something. God said, now flip the script. Well, what if you were y'all better 
shout. We were talking about that. Well, y'all better prepared. shout. Amen. When God echoes, when he echoes something, he said, if I allow you to hear it again, back to back, that means not many days hence, that thing going to start unfolding. That's why you ain't got time to sit down in church. Because you done heard it again. Hallelujah. You done heard it again, back to back. Hallelujah, Exodus. I know. See, I'm trying to sit here and be cute, but I'm gonna jump up in a minute. Exodus 31. Glory to God. You all that have just came in, glory to God. This is the gathering of the impartation in California. Glory to God. And we are excited for what the Lord. This is the impartation of the blessing. The impartation of the blessing. And you all that have children, glory to God. Make sure you impart the blessing on them. Because you can impart a whole lot of stuff and it don't be the blessing. And then they start walking all crazy because you imparted that craziness on them. When you should have imparted the blessing on them. Evangelist just said that. She said, train up a child. Okay, then. Exodus 31. Here we go. Exodus 31. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the Spirit of God. Watch this. In wisdom and in understanding and knowledge in all manner of workmanship. So guess what God is saying? If you want to succeed, I need to fill you. It's telling us right here. He said, I need to fill you. Don't just go off of glory to God, your feelings. Oh, I think I can make this work. No, he said, God said, I'm going to my spirit. The spirit of God is going to fill you with wisdom, understanding, yeah. and knowledge. Yeah. Watch God. And in all manner of workmanship, yeah. that means you're going to be able to do the business yourself. You're going you're gonna to know how. You're going to have the ability. He's going to pour it in you. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, boo, that's all you was missing. That's all you was missing. Hallelujah. Because when God fill you up and pour that wisdom and pour that knowledge and glory to God and pour that understanding and then pour all manner of workmanship, you don't want to mess with somebody because they are creative being. Lord have mercy. They can take a burnt turkey and make it into a good turkey. Come on here, somebody. Look at y'all. Look at, at me. Apostle, if you ain't wanting it. She just talked about making a turkey for the, the, the shot book. And then she talked about her book. And then she talked about her book. And then she talked about her book. Please tell the people. And then she talked about her book. Please tell the people. Please tell the people, you at the right place. You at the right place at the right time. God has met you here and he talked to you about your turkey. Hold up and shut down. And if it happened to get burnt, don't get sad. Because you can take a burnt turkey and make a good turkey sandwich. <laughs> Here it is. So now got to understand everybody that's going into business don't have a business mind. It is because God never poured into them. Some people learn business from their parents. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. And some just want the money. So they really don't understand the hard labor. They don't understand the sweat. Are you hearing me? But then there's just some of us, our parents was not business people. Are you hearing me? They work for other people. But there it is. God said, but I want to do something different with you. I want you to be a, a business owner. But see, I got to pour a workmanship, all manner of workmanship in you. What you say? All man. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's good, okay, go to first king. Go to first king. Let let the scripture talk to us. Come on. First Kings. First King chapter seven. First Kings chapter seven. Glory to God. This this ain't for folks that want to shout and do all that dancing. 
Glory to God. This is those folks that is shouting and dancing, but understanding, glory to God, that there's a business that God has imparted into me. Glory to God, because I believe I can outdance all y'all. Yeah. You're supposed to think that about yourself. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But that's not what we're here for. If, you know, if we shout because of the goodness of the Lord, that's what we're doing. Glory to God. And after we shout, then we sit back down and say, okay, God, what else are you saying? Are you hearing me? Glory to God. Hallelujah. So this is what God is doing. Amen. The prophet has just made a point. Glory to God. In this hour, he's bringing strategic ways and moves and, and, and different laws and different, glory to God, jobs and ideals to us. Are you hearing me? And some of us can't really get it while we're in the church. Come on. But in this type of setting, it's like now your mind is rolling because I just heard you said a book. Glory to God. Your mind is rolling. Are you hearing me? Your mind may not roll when you're in a church service. But in a setting like this, your mind starts rolling. Glory to God. Where you start seeing the cover of it. Where you start seeing the chapters of it. The glory to God. Where you begin to, amen, have what just a couple of words will cause the people, amen, to connect and say, mm, I got to get this book. Who am I talking to? In this type of setting. Uh huh. In other words, he said, it'll call your juices to start flowing. Your creative juices will start flowing. Your business juices will start flowing. And then when you leave here, you're supposed to have a life exchanging. You're supposed to go and you're supposed to get up and do it. Because you can't sit here and tell me, oh, she just said that and she just said that. And God is echoing back to back and God don't want this to happen now. You and the devil is alive. All right, all right. I hear you getting my L3C. Yes, that's right. Do it, do it man of God. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Somebody tell him to do it. Do it. Glory to God. Let's go to 1 Kings. 1 Kings chapter 7. 1 Kings chapter 7. Glory to God. 1 Kings chapter 7. 1 Kings chapter 7 verse 14. He was a widow. Oh, whoop, that mark everybody out that think they can't do it because they by themselves. He was a widow. He was a widow's son of the tribe of Nephitila. Please circle that. Please circle that word, Nephitila. And his father was a man of Tyre, a worker in brass. See that? And he was filled with what? Wisdom and understanding and cunning to work all works in what? Brass. See right there, glory to God, I could throw my Bible one way and start shouting another way. Because here it is, the Bible lets me know his father was in the business of brass. But the son, glory to God, needed the, 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 the particles, the material, the experience. He needed all that in him now, glory to God, to fulfill, to have a profitable brass business. Yeah. It's right here. It's telling you. Glory to God. And that's why you need to say, Lord, pour into me today. Pour into me the wisdom. Pour into me the understanding. Pour into me the cunning work of all work or whatever it is. Glory to God of the type of company that you want. Are you hearing me? Lord, have mercy. And the Bible said, and he came to the king, King Solomon, and wrought all his work. What you say? What you say? Somebody that did not have. Y'all going to make me take my glasses off. This was the son. This was the son, not the father. The father is the one that had all the ingredients to build the palace. And everything in it, not the son. But when God poured. Everything in him, he built the palace, and everything in the palace. Y'all not y'all 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 in the little late bus. Glory to God. Woo! And he was in charge of building everything about the palace. And then when you talk and you begin to read about when Bathsheba came and because she heard, glory to God, about the fascinating, glory to God, palace of the kingdom of Solomon. She had to come see for herself. She was coming to see what this y'all what he built. What he built. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Uh, uh, King Solomon had the plan. Mm -hmm. Put it into his hand. Mm -hmm. And said, okay, this is what I want. Mm -hmm. And then he said, 
Oh, we're going to make it happen. So he takes his plans and he do it. He just give them the plan. You can give people a plan and they can try to do it. And you they come back and say, well, what about this? No, you missed. It's, it's just missing something. It's something. It's, can't you like tweak it like this? You know what I'm saying? But so he gave this plan to this young man, put it in his hands and walked away. And God poured into this man all wisdom, all knowledge, all understanding, and all cunning, creativity that is going to need. So when he got to one place of the palace, he said, mm, I see it. And then he began to do it in the brass like this. Are you hearing me? So to the point that somebody overheard away far from another country said, I got to go check this thing out. Okay, y'all, y'all ain't shouting. In other words, somebody get ready to check your company out. They gonna hear about your company way from another foreign country. And I got to go myself and check this one out myself. Come on. Come on. Are you hearing me? That's that's when God started pouring that wisdom in you. Glory to God. That knowledge in you, that understanding in you. Well, Pastor, I already asked God to pour the wisdom and the knowledge. See, you know what? You too deep for me. <laughs> he poured that wisdom and that knowledge and that understanding of the word in you. But you don't have wisdom and knowledge and understanding and the cunning of the business. <laughs> Y'all too deep. Shonda. You got to ask God to pour that in you. Why would he put it in here? It was dealing with business. Okay, and I told you to circle the word Nafetia. Did I not? All right, go to Deuteronomy. Glory to God. Deuteronomy 33. I'm going to read from the Amplified. Deuteronomy 33 and verse 23. Deuteronomy 33 and verse 23. He came from the family of Nafetia. Glory to God. It, of Naphtali, he said, I'm reading from the ant. Mm -hmm. Oh, Naphtali, satisfied with favor. Satisfied with favor. <laughs> hey, yes, and full of blessings of the Lord. Take possession of the sea. Uh-huh, 33 in verse 23. Uh-huh, glory to God. Uh, take possession of the sea of Galilee and the south. Well, the sea is dealing with merchants. Uh -huh. That come import, in. Export. You better come on here. You, you they said it. Import, import export. Exports. You better talk about it. Now, how on, did Naphtali okay. get this blessing on him? Okay. Israel prophesied to Naphtali. Yes, he was one of the twelve. Yes, Are you hearing me? Yes, and so he imparted the business part into Naphtalia. Are y'all hearing me? God is saying you're going to be satisfied with favor. In other words, you won't have to pray for favor when you step up to do a deal because favor will already be on you. Why? Because the impartation of the blessing is resting on you. And when the impartation of the blessing is resting on you, there's an angel in here. I just saw him. I just saw there's an angel in here. My God from Zion, you're going to be satisfied with favor and full of blessings of the Lord. That's the amp. Here go the message. Naphtalia brims with blessings, spills over with God's blessing as he takes possession of the sea uh -huh, and the south land. What did God show me in the dream? The sea. Wasn't nothing but the sea around me. Wasn't nothing but the sea. Wasn't no land. Shanda. Export and import. Um, is anybody listening? Did everybody go home? What is God really doing with you and your businesses? What is God really doing? Glory to God with the creativity about you. If you could just ever tap into the real you of your business. Who yeah. glory to God, the real you yeah. of the creativity of your business. Yeah. Glory to God. Then you will begin to see something so that you have to Wipe your eyes and say, is this real? And God said, show up, show up, show up. So here it is. Naphtalia is over here in 1 Kings chapter 7, as well as over here in Deuteronomy. You can also find him in Genesis, glory to God, when Israel began to pronounce the blessings upon the 12. And when he got to Naphtalia, he said, this is who you are. This is how you going to operate. And I just need to help about three people in here. God said the 12 is in you. Because that's why Elisha, glory to God, amen, was pulling the oxen of 12. Yeah. 
because one of them represented Naphtalia. And God said, favor is all upon you. You ain't got to pray for favor. You just need to get up and do what I tell you to do when I tell you to do it. Because favor, glory to God, does not meet a person sitting down. Favor meets you when you get to the place you need to get to. Amen. Amen. Ooh, that's some good stuff right there. So while you at it, turn to the book of Daniel. <laughs> Turn to the book of Daniel. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. of Oshanda. Amen. Coordination service, and we do come, you know, we lay hands and that the blessing of the work of the ministry be transferred. Uh -huh. That they'll be able to move, glory to God, like they need to in ministry. But where is the business people? That will lay hands, glory to God, and the transfer of the blessings of the Lord will be able to move upon people that has got business in the church. We dress up and we, we have the staff and we have all the, co the colors on. We have the hats on. Glory to God. That's all for ministry. But who will have a service, glory to God, call all the business people, sit them down in the house of God, glory to God. And when they get done teaching, amen, call them to stand up and line up and then begin what? To impart the blessing. Nobody is saying nothing to me, glory to God, because we are so traditional. We are so boxed, amen. But the Lord didn't say for us to be boxed. My God from Zion. You know, and I'm going to do it right now. You're going to do it too. I'm doing it now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right. Here, glory to God, Cali, Texas, yeah. Arizona. Yeah. Amen. Because right. you can't prophesy millions of dollars and millions of dollars ain't in you. Millions of dollars have showed up. Can you stay right there? Hello, Daniel chapter 1, verse 4. You can't prophesy. Amen. Glory to God. Million of dollar contract of music. Amen. And they get it. You cannot. You cannot. Glory to God. Hollow. See, I don't know if my brother be watching this. Amen. In Zion. Glory to God. I went to Amen. His his conference and he had me to preach, and it was called In the Cave. Well, God gave me a word. Y'all ain't in the cave. When you get up there to preach, you're gonna preach you out the cave. Are you hearing me? And so when I preach, we out of the cave, glory to God, maybe 30, 60 days later, you now see him all over the word network. You see him everywhere. He's with Benny Hinn. He's with everybody. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Glory to God. But if we would have stayed in the cave, glory to God, it wouldn't have happened. But when God said, I want you to preach and prophesy to come out of the cave, glory to God. And when it came out of the cave, he showed up came out of the cave. I see that. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Oh, that's what it was named. That ain't what God gave me. He said, when you get up and grab the mic, you out the cave. And show no, is he out the cave? He is all over the place. He is everywhere. If I tell you the name, you're like, yep, I know him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When God tells you to do what you need to do to impart into people, lives are supposed to change. Lives are supposed to have an experience of change. Is anybody listening? Daniel chapter 1, glory to God. Daniel chapter 1, here we go. And let's hit verse 4. Here it is, the Bible said, let's go to verse 1. In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, came Nebuchadnezzar, uh -huh, the king of Babylon, and, and unto Jerusalem, and did what? And besieged it, captured it. Watch this, God doesn't care, glory to God, what, amen, any type of trump or any other ump will say. All right. Hey. Do you understand? <laughs> Glory to God. It doesn't matter what he may say because you got to understand verse 1 said that they was what? Besieged. They was in a captive place. But God would never change. Did he say? Yes. They Y'all going to make me. Huh? 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. The manager about this. All right. And she prayed it. So what God is doing? He's echoing it again. Echo. Are you hearing me? It doesn't matter. Matter. It doesn't matter how it looks like the money going to start changing. It doesn't matter. Are you hearing me? God said, I've given you the key. The key is let me pour into you. I'll pour into you. They'll come looking for you. Yeah. They will come looking for you to start up their business. And they, hold on. I'll be right back. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. See, 
I got. Don't tell me God ain't talking in here. He talking right where y'all at. Glory to God. Are you hearing me? It does not matter. Stop looking. Stop looking at what's going on around and look up and say, God, pour into me. Pour into me. People will start coming looking for you. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. Verse 4. Children in whom was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom. And cunning and knowledge and understanding, science, and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace and whom they might teach. What you say? Come on here. There's that mentor. Here it is. They look like they're supposed to be the odd. But they wasn't the odd. Are you hearing me? You look like you're the oddball, but you're not the oddball. You stop trying to always fit in. You're trying to make yourself fit in. And every time you try to make yourself fit in, your feet sticking out. As soon as you put your feet out, your hands stick out. As soon as you try to put your hand in, your head is out. Because God is trying to tell you, you can't fit in that. You, yes, you are odd, but it's a good odd. People are going to come start looking for you because you got the answer. Lord have mercy. You got the answer. Glory to God to take a negative business. Glory to God and make it a profitable business. Who am I talking to in here? Glory to God. How y'all go shine down? Head up, oh shake how y'all. Are y'all hearing Jesus in here? Yeah. Glory to God. So why you shout on tomorrow? You shout because God getting ready to bring hey, some people hey, to you. Hey. Glory to God. Oh, yeah, Messiah. You shout because God getting ready to amen as people lay down tonight. He putting your face, glory to God, in their face. Hey. Who am I talking to? You can't be in such an atmosphere, not because of me, but because of all of us. Yeah. You can't be in this type of atmosphere and nothing is happening in the realm of the spirit for us. Nothing is changing in the realm of the spirit for us. Who am I talking to? You got to understand God said I handpicked you. Glory to God. How about Sire? You may have had a rough journey, but you better thank God for the rough journey because it was a teaching for you. And now you have come out and you came out with the goods. Okay, you go on and come on back in. They done ran out and come on back in. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You acting like the, the, the road. You acting like the road. That your road wasn't a good road. Your road was a good road. Glory to God. Because all them experiences that you have went through is now going to help you in your today. It's going to help you in your today. I'm talking to business people. I'm not talking to lazy folks. I'm not talking to people that just want to shout on Sunday and then go lay down on the couch on Monday. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to people to say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, what you've given me, I'm going to raise up somebody else. I'm going to be a mentor. Are you hearing? Oh, God. And you got to have somebody that's, amen, in front of you, glory to God, have done that, glory to God, succeeded, and on their way to their next, you got to have somebody in front of you that is there, and you got to bring somebody to where there is you at. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Thank you. That's why you ain't got time to be in your flesh. Yeah. Worry about who talking about you. Yeah. Worry about who don't like you. Yeah. Lord, they may say something about my hair. Guess what? I don't care. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor I don't care. Yeah. Glory to God. Because all I keep hearing is ching ching. Ching ching. Ching ching. And more ching ching. Yeah. Hallelujah. I can be able to bless a charity. I can't bless a charity because I'm just prophesying. I don't mind prophesying, but I also want to write some you zeros come on, on the check. You better come on here. That's why I got my first friend. That's why I got my first prophet. That's why I got my first prophet. Hallelujah. I got to go. It says. It says. <laughs> they waving. They waving. They waving their money. 
They all got, hey, Sister Regina, they all got their money from their next business. Their next business. They already got a profit. They already got a profit. It's already. Well, pass the money out. We got more people coming in passing the oh, oh, We need more dollars. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, come on around. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Come on in. Yes. Amen. Yes. God bless you, woman of God. Come on. Yes. Come on in. Yes. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Y'all got to give her a dollar. Amen. Mm -mm. Give my wallet. Give my wallet. We got three more behind us. We got three more. Okay, in the bathroom. Glory to God, they're coming in. Hallelujah, boys. Grab my wallet. It's black. It's black. Come on in, precious. Amen. Hallelujah, boys. Shonda. Thank you, Jesus. Go to the front and see if they were. Table. What she said, three. So how many y'all need here? Yeah. I need four. Let's see if they give some ones. Here, daughter. Glory to God. My God from Zion. My God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. They're coming in. They're coming in. They're coming in. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Impartation of the blessing. That's what we're talking about. If you just received a dollar, glory to God, amen, I'm talking to business people in here. If you was waiting on the, the keyboard and if you was waiting on the drum, go to church tomorrow. Amen. You could be able to dance and shout and all. We are shouting in here because God is speaking. Amen. But this impartation is impartation of the blessing. And this is dealing with business people, business minded people. Glory to God. If you have an outreach ministry, glory to God, that's still dealing with business because you got to come from out of the corner and you got to have the mind of having it global. Are you hearing me? You got to take it global. You got to take this thing global. Look at your neighbor and say, take it global. You got to come out of the corner and you got to begin to go far. You have to go far with it. Are you hearing me? And so here it is. We are in the de in, in the book of Daniel. For those that are coming in, uh, if you got a pen, we can give you that. Very thing. We got pen over here for you. If you need a pen, just lift your hands. We'll make sure you get it. Amen. Uh, the scriptures that we have already came to is 1 Kings chapter 19. 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 19 and 20. Glory to God. Oh, yes, mother, next business. Yes, ching, ching. Yes, 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 yes. Glory to God. 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 19 and 20. We came from Exodus 31, verse 1 through 3. We also came, glory to God, with our slow. Y'all need pins over there? Okay, well, I'll slow down because, you know, I'll be running fast. <laughs> I'll be getting through it. Hiya. Hit it. Amen. Hit it. Glory to God. So if you in here, yes, we got cars. If, if you are in here, you couldn't be in here, glory to God, if God did not handpick you and he handpicked you because you got a business. He handpicked you because you got a business in your spirit. And he's telling you to go forth today. He's telling you not to slow down. He's not. He's telling you, glory to God, to get up, get up off of that couch. Hmm. And you and you trying to say, well, somebody else got what I'm doing. Uh uh. What makes it your own? Somebody that was here earlier, glory to God, tell them what makes a business uh, your own, especially if it looked like somebody else's. Hmm. You need a plan from God. You need Now, what would make that product your own if it looked like somebody else's? I All right. All right. All right. So what is that saying? Do not sit there and say, well, somebody else got this already. Yes. Because what you put, what you bring to it is going to make it yours. Yes. And the sample I used was a what? A flat screen TV. Yes. Are you hearing me? If there's something different about it and you put it to it, then that is your brand. And now that flat screen, glory to God, is not just a flat screen. It is a flat screen. Uh-huh. Tell them like this. Anybody, I, I, I love uh, uh, the Pioneer Woman. Mm -hmm. 
on Food, on food yeah. Network. She's called the Pioneer she Woman. Did. And and I walked into Walmart and she has her own plates. Yeah, she has yeah. her own different things. Well, guess what? I just came from around the corner. Somebody else had plates too. Yeah. I just came from the, another amen aisle and guess what? Somebody had some pots and pans too. Yeah. But she making some what? Ching ching. Y'all yeah. gonna make me fall in this place. Yeah. She making some what? Ching ching. Yeah. What's up to how how is she making ching ching? Because I just left an aisle that I just seen plates. Yeah. Yeah. How is she making ching ching? And I just left another aisle and I just seen pots and pans. Yeah. She making it because there's a spin on what she do. Yeah. And what she do is cause an end influence, people are looking at her. And when people are looking at her, people are looking for her. Y'all yeah. Yeah. gonna make me run. Because right. if they gonna look at you, they gonna start looking for you. That's right. That's right. That's right. I buy your neighbor say they've been looking at you. Been but they get ready to look for you. Because you got folks looking at you, they don't want nothing. But there's some folks that's looking at you is about to look for you. Because what you have, they have need of. Are you hearing me? So don't be sloppy about your presentation. Are you hearing me? Don't be nervous about your presentation. Amen. Get familiar with you. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Because this is if this is my presentation, this is me. Yeah. So get familiar with your presentation. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yeah. And sometimes y'all want to stick to your little cards and then you get in fumble tongue. No, be get familiar with you. Yeah. Are you hearing me? And sell the clock. Yeah. Because it's not the clock you really sell it. It's you. Y'all yeah. ain't said nothing up here. Oh, y'all thought y'all was coming. Did y'all tell them what they was coming to? And they told them they was coming to a church. <laughs> You gonna leave up out of here doing what you supposed to do? Glory to God! I thought I was going to a church meeting. My God, I went up in and this little time about business and told me get up off my couch. Holla! I didn't even know. Woo! And gave me a different what perspective of my of what God has given me to do. Yes, it's a lot of them out there, but you gotta make this one your own. Because if they looking at you, That's it, Apostle. they get ready to start looking for oh, yeah. you. Come on, CEO. Yeah. Yeah. See right there, huh? Make them come looking for you. Yeah. Are you hearing me? You know that young lady that was sitting over there, girl? She was sitting right over there. She had that black leather jacket on. And you know, she, her head to the side. You know that? that uh, you see her before? I'm looking for her. You see what I'm saying? You, you Come on here, somebody. You got to make people start looking for you for the good. Yeah. Baby, you got something in you. It's time to come forth. Yeah. It's time to birth out. Yeah. Are you hearing me? And I'm going to say it like I said earlier. It's time for to come from the corner store. Yeah. It's time for you to stop thinking of the corner store and start thinking what? Global. 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 Yeah. Ooh, y'all made a sister. Yes, Lord. Hi, y'all. Did they get their dollar? Did everybody get to? Everybody got their dollar. You got your dollar? Now let me tell you something. Don't you go try to spend that ad that with your little gas money. That ain't that ain't that don't go with your gas money. You go and you get a frame, you put it in the frame. As a matter of fact, you put a marker on it and write on it, because they're not finna take all that stuff you wrote on that. In other words, God just prophesied to you. Glory to God, you just made your first profit. P-R-O-F-I-T. Glory to God of your business. Glory to God that you have not even put together yet. Yes, right. See, I see the, I feel the power of God. God is moving on somebody's life in here. Glory to God. And you got to begin to take it by force. Are you hearing me? Nobody's going to give you nothing. Y'all playing too much. Because you looking for somebody to give you something, and they won't give it to you. Glory to God. But all you need, woman of God, sitting on the end, all you need is some information. I don't need your money. Just give me the information. Because if I get the information, glory to God, then I will make the money you got. Y'all trying to go after the money when you ought to go after the information. Ooh, glory to God. Y'all not saying nothing. Come on, uh -huh, uh -huh. Glory to God. So here it is. We are in the book of Daniel chapter 1, and we just hit verse 4. Here it is. Daniel, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they are the odd people. In other words, we call them oddball. They, they, they're sticking out, but yet they're sticking in. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. 
You, you, you think that what you have and, and, and how it is that you're the odd person. But God said, that's the way I want you to be. I want you to be an odd person. I don't want you to be like everybody else. Because if you begin to be like everybody else, then you will take some of them and some of them and some of them. And the Holy Ghost said, you will lose yourself in them. You wouldn't even know who you are. Are you hearing me? That's why sometimes God don't allow you to get close to people because he don't want you to lose your identity. He don't want you to lose who you really are. Is anybody listening? Did everybody go home? Glory to God. And I'm going to see today is the impartation of the blessing. Whatever it is, glory to God, that God has been giving you to do. God is calling you. If you walked up in here, you came up in here, you only came up in because God said it's time for you to get up and do it now. Are you hearing me? You ain't coming here to look at me. Deck on my picture. Don't I look good? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, you, now y'all can leave. Because if that's what you came up in here for. Amen. You just saw me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now you can go. But that's not why you came up in here. There's something, glory to God, that you have in your belly. Glory to God that God said it's now time for it to come forth. Yes. It's called a business. It's called a business. You need a business plan. That's true. Are you hearing me? Here it is. Those that don't know, those do know, there's Angie at the end. On last month, we had an awesome time in here. Glory to God. And God spoke and said, bring your business, set it up, bring some samples. Glory to God. And then go for what you know. Guess what? She came here. She was excited. She didn't set it all up. And a lot of us in here, including me, we need to be detoxed. Oh. Hey. Amen. Amen. Anybody like tea? I like tea. Can't stand coffee, so thank you for tea. Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. So she's going to come up. Amen. You got a business. You got to understand this is networking of businesses. Yes. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? So I need to know if you got a business. Are you hearing me? Anybody that's in need, glory to God, of real estate. Lift your hands and smile. Put a smile on your face. I know you're tired, but shake it. There's folks in here. Pass them cards. How many cards you got? Pass them cards out. Who else in here got a business? Okay, what is your business, Russia? I have two. We have a facility maintenance company where we go out and uh, maintenance facilities are... Uh, multi-family housing, so apartment communities, um, and then I also have my business where I actually help you get your business started, so I show you how to get the corporations, LLCs, I'll be back. with structures, <laughs> all of that. Y'all ain't said nothing. <laughs> Yes, Lord Jesus. Look at y'all looking at me. Who else? Don't be scared. Who else up in here got a business? You got a business on Facebook Live? Amen. Put it down. Come on here. Let us hear. Let us hear. Glory to God. Amen. You got a business in here? Who got? A, who else got a business in here? Nobody else? Who else got birthed in a business? Know that you're supposed to be a business owner. I do. <laughs> I'm working on it in my heart. What, 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 what are you believing that is in your spirit? Um, that's the thing. I don't know, but I know that I'm supposed to um, open up a business. My job has started, and, but she's going to... Um, I had a fashion business, and um, it didn't start out too great, but we have ideas to continue. What type of fashion business? Uh, it's like, it's a niche. It's like a little uh, Japanese stuff, but we put a little twist to it. Yeah. It's fascinating. It's fascinating. All right. Okay, now listen. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because y'all ain't finna act like y'all gonna ask a sister out. Y'all better realize where it came from. But the woman of God, amen. Come on, precious. Amen. Come on, precious. And, and, and God in it. If you don't counsel with God first, not with people, 
See, before, if I had a business, I do got a business, and before I get to my business people that's going to work with me, me and God should have counsel first. Yeah. Because except God is in the plan, then he's not obligated to make that stand. And we all will always have something in our life that will cause our back to get up against the wall. And if we have not included God at the beginning, he's not obligated. It doesn't matter how we shout, how we get about shikoro shanda. It doesn't. If we don't put God first, are you hearing me in the business plan, then he's not obligated to get us out. And so that's what one part of it that you missed. Glory to God. But she's getting ready to give you something. You got pen and paper. Girl, write it down. Write it down. So a lot of times in businesses, uh, what I do is I conduct a workshop and it's called Passion to Profit because you have a passion about something, but how do you turn that into profit? Mm -hmm. And so what you would want to do is we help you look at your demographics, your market, uh, your social media marketing. Um, how to develop your website. There's a lot of free uh, things out there, so you don't have to always put out a lot of money, but you just have to do research. Uh, you can't be lazy like the apostle has already spoken. God has already spoken that. Uh, we help you uh, identify what structure your business should be in, whether it be an LLC, whether it be um, incorporated. Um, you might not be ready for incorporation, and it's okay. You can turn that LLC into an incorporation later on in your journey as you're ready to do global market. You can do global now. SD is one of the platforms you can use. Instagram is one of the platforms you can use, and we show you how to tap into some of those things and provide some of those resources for you so that you can launch your business. Right. Amen. 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 So the, the woman of God, you said you know there's a business in you, but you don't know what it is. No, I don't know what it is, but it's always been in me. Like what? Um, what is it that you that, that you like? I just, I just know I can I try to work for people, but no, it's just, I, it's just in me to have a business. I'm, um, I don't know yet. I'm just still kind of confused what I really want mm -hmm. to do. Because if I'm going to uh, put something in, I'm going to put my 100%, not just, just because, you know. The, the first thing that you, you, you have to realize is what you like. Yeah. That's the way it starts. You, you, there's something that you like more than you like something else. And then that's that's it, okay. So once you first define that, what you like, okay, you define it, and then you go to the next step, okay. So. Mm -hmm. Right. Who else around the table? Wow. Have prison ministry books that are distributed in prison. Mm -hmm. Cause that's a little bit about jail. Okay. Right on. Ain't no more. So, 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 this is awesome because I want to project. I want to get out of my comfort zone. I want to be a business owner. And it's Saturday, so I know I would be watching cartoons, uh -uh. certain things. But Jesus does put you in a certain place with people that I already love you. Oh. Ever since I've been in your presence, my life, this is the steps that you mm -hmm. told me about, have just been those yes. steps. You say, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, you got to do this, you got to do that, everything. Wow. And I just want to tell you that because I don't know if you know that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is about your business, not me. I know it is, but that's how you network. That's how you know you stay with the people that you started with and you learn from them and you that's have good. your mentors, my mother, my sister, and I have all of you that we're all going to just try to go up. Amen. Just be bigger, get more for ourselves, for our churches, for our community, just do more. And this, I, I believe this is what I'm supposed to be doing today. Amen. Yes. Thank you. Yes, I believe that. Come on around, gentlemen. Oh, uh, okay. Well, um, right now I'm currently trying to get my real estate license. Mm -hmm. I already uh, passed the um, three certificates. Wow. And, right. now, and I'm just waiting this for the exam. Wow. Yeah. All right. You that time. Yeah. Very and this uh, next thing that I have in mind, though, I haven't started it, though, but it's this dish that I have of uh, owning, like, a business. I'm going to call it Food Run. 
And what I'm thinking about is, um, you know, the people just get to call us up and we run to the grocery store for them wow. instead of them having to go to the grocery store and we bring that stuff back to them. Wow. And the way they do it is get like a membership, pay like $200 a month and we just get whatever you need. Wow. I was thinking about something like that. That's that sounds like that. Idea. Wow. 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 It's clear the demographics, the markets, everybody wants convenience. Right. It's all about your marketing mm -hmm. and getting that that plan into the face of the right people. Mm -hmm. And she talked earlier about going outside the color. You yeah. might not start with your own right. first. Because right. right. we not we not there yeah. all the way. That's but right. <laughs> when you go to the other markets like Chino, Rancho, Altaloma, the stay home moms that don't want to have to go to the store, right. that's how you have to get in their face. So being, you know, so did you get him your car? Pass my moment. Amen. Hey, man. Woman of God sitting right next to him. Yeah. Uh, can I have your card also? Yes. Come on, Precious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. Okay, so when are you looking to start? Um, actually, I've got the passion back. Good. Because when you're a mom for so long, mm -hmm. you just get in that routine, and it's all about the kids. And then right. once your kids are grown and out of the house, mm -hmm. then you have to get back to finding yourself that's as an right. individual. Mm -hmm. So that's why I feel like I am. So I'm just, I, it's a blessing to be here because, wow. like, you know, I'm supporting him and his business, mm -hmm. what he has going, but at the same time, I'm going through myself. All right. So, All right. All right. So I'm going to say to you and to him, uh, we're not going to drag this out. Mm -hmm. You got six months mm -hmm. yes. to be up on it. Yes. You, because if you start dragging it out, then it become years and years yeah. and years and years. But if you have that passion, you have that fire upon you, you go ahead and do what needs yes. to be done. And when I'm looking at you and I see, I see a small pamphlet book coming from you first. Glory to God, to test the waters of which way you need to go with the big book. Are you hearing me? You do the pamphlet of the smaller one, and then you'll see which way you have to go yeah. with the big one, said the Lord. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Glory to God. Come on in, Peter. And we can help you with that. Yes. <laughs> yes, we have all, we'll give you all the tools. It's fresh. You got, there's free things out there. Uh, Self-publishing will connect you with a blogger. Uh, it's called Indie Authors. It's for authors who are going on their own because I'm writing the book and it'll be out this week. <coughs> all right. Let's Release when? Released in March. Released in March. March. So what's this? What's this? Uh, October? November. November, December, January, February, March, April, May. May, March. Okay. You see what I'm saying? See, God knows what he's doing. Yes, and for you to be here, he knew you was going to be here. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? You just have to take the information and do something with it. That's it. If you do something with it, you will start seeing it. Have you had a fashion show? No, not yet. Um, I'm taking a break from it going back to school. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Just in the meantime, until things start getting better, because we had a lot of life changes. Okay. So I'm trying to get back on track. I hear you. Okay. I'm going to keep you there. Okay, all right. Come on here. Well, for me, I, I do. I, I can't see business in me because I'm, I'm very supportive of others helping open up their businesses. Mm -hmm. For instance, uh, Teen Challenge, which um, God used me and my director to open up a women's facility wow. for drug rehab. And mm -hmm. I worked for 12 years. So we did a lot of footwork. We did a lot. Of, so I, I know how to go about it. On, you know, open up business, how to get by low one seat, how to do all that. Right. And then I turned around after being with them, I would help somebody else in Long Beach, mm -hmm. doing my new life beginning. Mm -hmm. Their their facility is women and children, domestic violence. So mm -hmm. I help open up that home. Yes. So I see that by me helping, you know, and I, I, I am very supportive of helping 
you know, open up homes or whatever. And that's what my passion is at, to help hurting lives, to help people, mm -hmm. you know. So my passion, these were uh, rehab centers. So that was, that's my passion. I mean, and I know that it still is my passion. Right. And I do hear, you know, even yourself saying that, you know, <clears throat> God may want you to do something for you now. That's your right. Open up your, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, that's where I'm at right now, and I'm really just seeking God and his direction and his guidance, okay. you know, and what to do at this point. And I know I'm about to get some degree in what I, my passions now. So, right. You know, I know that could open up more doors for me, mm -hmm. you know, by having having that behind my belt. Yes. You know, but I know it's all going to be for God's glory. Mm -hmm. It's all going to be for God. And I want it to be where I know that God, whatever he has for me to do, in this, mm -hmm. as far as uh, transitional homes, rehabs, and anything like that, you know, I know that I'm capable of helping, but I'm also capable. I believe I can, I can do it too. Oh I yes, put, you know, yes, you know, put it, put my all into it, just like I put my all into it for somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So um, that's where I'm at right now. So I'm just really seeking God on, on which direction to go. Okay. You know, because I, I do, and I am willing to help, you know, when some people, somebody else want to open up a home, open up, you know, because I know how to go about doing all that. Yes. You know, so any more proposals and all that. I don't write the proposals, but I know how to go about everything like that. All right. So and I've been doing that for 12 years for Team Challenge. Wow. You know, yeah. as we opened up that women's facility down in L.A. Wow. And uh, then the other one in Long Beach. Wow. So um, that's pretty well I put my foot on that. You know. All right. Woman of God. Hi, I came with some individuals. I thought I was coming to church. <laughs> <laughs> you at church? Yes, yes. Um, we at church. Yes. But this is a whole different place where God is having us a different experience. And the only thing I could say really to a lot of us, because we are uh, Christians, we are believers, we sometimes are slow. Mm -hmm. yes. We drag our feet when it comes to to look like anything outside of the four walls of the church, we drag our feet. Yeah. yeah. As yeah. long as it's, you know, we got to be at prayer, we're there. Well, not everybody, but we're there. And, uh, you know, in, you know, conferences, yeah, conferences, we're there. Cleaning up the church, we're there. But when it comes to your business or what God want to increase, you know, finance, y'all done fell on the floor and they threw towels on you because they say they've seen the increase of the finances. And we just keep trying to look for it to come out of the same well. Right. And that well has dried up, yes. you know, and so God has called me until he lifts it up off me. My assignment is to gather, gather the people and impart into them, stir them back up yes. and have them to get out there and do what God has what placed yes. in them to do. And so sometimes we leave out of here. Oh, that was good. But then we do nothing with it. Yes. Wow. God did not save you for you to be saved and just do nothing with it. We are to be about the Father's business. And the business is not just, glory to God, uh, we witnessing and preaching. Yes, right. About his business is I have given you a talent. That's right. Are you hearing me? And when he comes back, what have you done with yes. it? Yes. Are you hearing me? And so that's what, y'all, y'all, amens went low. Glory to God. That's because the body of Christ, we just got one minded. We got that's one it. mindset. That's and that it. is Shakabo Shanda. Yeah. But we don't have the other mindset, and that is being business and being about the business. You need yeah. to be in a place that where you can be able to have employees yourself. We yeah. sit and we're all everybody else, and God said it is not where you can't reach it yourself. Yeah. Amen. You just got to have the people around you that will put fire up under you. And as yeah. long as you come up in here and as long as God tell me, guess what? You're not finna sit down. Here come that apostle again. Here she come again. You want to know why? Because it's in you. Yeah. It's in you to do. And all these experiences and all this information that is around us, guess what? You don't have to go looking for it. When the student is ready, the teacher shows up. And that's what we said last month. And here it is. He just adding. And here it is. She didn't bring it out. Okay, boom, bam. There, well, now what's the problem? What's the problem? Well, I don't have no money. Do you have faith? Do you have faith? Because faith will draw the money. Because if you have faith in God, then God will touch the heart of the king. Are you hearing me? And turn it in your favor, and the king will come to you and will invest in you. Who am I talking to? Glory to God. You got to want more than what it is you've been having. Are you hearing me? I could listen. I stand up and I could preach right now, and I could prophesy right now. Are you hearing me? Yeah. But what does it what does it mount if you just gonna just fall on the floor and get up and do nothing with it? That's right. That's it. That's right. That's true. 
Are you hearing me? Glory to God. The young lady right here, the young man just said, I just took my three certificates and he can ready to take what the exam. You should have been shouting. You should have jumped up. Because you remember that. God has brought you to a place and then guess what? You could drop some encouraging words into my brother's life. Glory to God. It don't matter. See, 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 see it don't matter. You just, you, you just impart. You just impart into him and encourage him and say, you know what? You get ready to take that big exam. Damn. And glory to God, God did it for me. He going to do it for you. Yes. I was planning on speaking to him, but she was speaking. I didn't want to interrupt him. Now. Okay, but now, guess what? She gonna meet with you afterwards, and then she she gonna she gonna impart into you, glory to God, and she gonna encourage you. Are you hearing yeah. me, glory to God? And so I'm excited, y'all. Some of y'all get upset over something that nothing to get upset about. Glory to God, encourage one another, be excited for one another. Know that God is with you, and God is doing a lot of things with you, and God is doing a lot of things for you. But don't be lazy with what God has given you. Be about the Father's business. Be upon it. Don't go. Slow Slow for nobody. Go fast forward. When he gave me that dream, glory to God, that the glory of the Lord is pushing and he's yeah. accelerating you. Yeah. He said, get up and do what I told you to do. You said there's a book in you. There's a book in you. Amen. Connect with her because there's a place where you're going to be able to say, mm, yeah. mm. you're going to hit a wall. But God has sent somebody already yeah. that that wall yeah. is going to come down. Yeah. So you can just move. We were we there in the wall. Come on here twice. And so therefore, you, guess what? You already ahead of the game. You already ahead of the game. So you will not have a wall. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. So be encouraged. It's all God. Amen. It's all God. And I just want to be the vessel. Amen. If he want to use me in this hour to do this, this is what I'm going to do until he lift the assignment. If he place it on somebody else, amen. Glory to God. But right now, this is what he has called me to do. And this is what I'm going to do. And so, therefore, I said when we open up, you got to understand a lot of times we have the, uh, the ordinations of the prophets, of the, the bishops, and the apostles, and the teachers. You know, they dress up. We dress up in all the clergy stuff but there is no impartation of passing on the blessings in the businesses and that's in the word as well yeah are you hearing me? And I first stated earlier to everybody that we as leaders and have churches and have ministries, we need to have a part where we gather our business people and begin to teach and impart and then call them up and line them up and then lay hands according to the scriptures, imparting the blessing. Imparting the blessing. It's just the same thing as you imparting if somebody is going to be a bishop. There's a bishop tree that's getting ready to impart into this bishop. That the blessing that's up, up this bishop shall come up on this bishop and that this bishop that we get ready to lay hands on will not have glory to God the stumbling blocks that they had yes. that's why it's of the laying of the hands but we don't have that in the kingdom of God as business people that's right. that's true. and then if we do you got to come in you got to pay a thousand something dollars to get the y'all ain't saying nothing to get the information and guess what you pick it up mm, I would until you seen a thousand dollars you put it back down tell the truth tell the truth Amen. Amen. And so information, when you get somebody, glory to God, that is going to pour into you, you all that's sitting in here, you got businesses, you need to have a men somebody you're going to mentor. And you also need somebody that's in front of you that's already is succeeding to pour into you. You don't need somebody, glory to God, that's on the corner talking about something we got it going on. They just on the corner. They ain't went nowhere. Are you hearing me? So you need somebody in front of you that's going to pour into you. Are you hearing me as well as you reaching back and you pouring into somebody else yeah. because as long as you release the information that is in you then God can pour more information yeah. we want a whole lot of stuff that we have not released yet yeah. we want that's more good. stuff from God that we haven't even released yet yeah. that's, true. that's true man. Yep. That's true. are you hearing me that's called selfishness uh, that's right. that's it. okay and we're hoarding it and that's, God is not calling that. Because if you are awesome like you say you are, show me who you mentor. Show me who is going to bypass you. That's when you got something. You say you just got in you, and you, you ain't got nothing. You just selfish. 
Amen. So if you up in here, glory to God, you in here because God earmarked you. He earmarked you. There's something that's in you God wants to bring forth. Number nine means divine completeness. God is bringing a finale to something in your life. He is finalizing it, meaning it is over. That means when you walked in these doors, you left something behind that you ain't got to go back to. If you go back to it, that's because you went back and you picked it up. Are you hearing me? Because some of y'all in here, you prayed last night and you asked God some things. And God said, listen here, when you walk in that door, you ain't got to see that no more. You don't have to see that no more. Are you hearing me? And so for this hour in the book of Genesis, here it is. I want everybody to go to Genesis 27. Genesis chapter 27. Genesis chapter 27. Genesis 27, and then after this, glory to God, we're going to have Angela to come up, and she is going to let us know about this tea. Are you hearing me? This good tea. Hiya. That I'm going to purchase. Hallelujah. Amen. Genesis chapter 27. Genesis 27. Here we go. Genesis 27 is where we're at, and we're going to go to verse 28. Now, uh, let's see. Mm, let's go to verse 1, and then we hit 28, uh, and so we can see what God is saying. And it came to pass that when Isaac was old and his eyes were dim so that he could not see, he called uh, Esau his eldest son and said unto him, My son, he said unto him, Behold, here am I. And he said, Behold, now I'm old, and now oh, I know not the day of the, my death. Now therefore take. I pray thee thy weapons, thy quiver. In other words, here come the impartation. Mm -hmm. Transition. Come on. The woman of God just said, I'm in transition. When you're in transition, I mean, you're leaving one old place and you're going into a new place. And so he was letting, glory to God, his sons and them know that he was getting ready to transition. And when there is a transition, there's supposed to be an impartation. That's it. Amen. Oh, okay. Woo, write that in your notes. When there is a transition, there is supposed to be an impartation. You better. It's right here in scripture. Anytime there is a transition, even in your life, there is supposed to be an impartation, imparting, inputting something into you because you're in a new place. Because you're transitioning out of an old place, coming into a new place. In order to get into this new place and be successful, you should have been what? Imparted into. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we see that here. And so this is why I was reading that. Now when you jump over, here it is. He already said that I'm transitioning. I am getting ready to do a transition. And what I have in me, I need to impart. I cannot take this to the grave. In other words, let me bring it to our lame terms today. I cannot take this information to the next place I'm going. Because the information I have right now will not work where I'm going. Because I'm going to be in a new place. And the information that I have was where for where I was at right now. Are you hearing me? So if you're not willing as being business owners, if you're not willing, glory to God, to be leaders, to impart into people, then you need to close your shop. Are you hearing me? Because you're supposed to be in part, in part into people, pouring into them. Are you hearing me? That, that you have. So you can keep on moving. This is what the scripture is saying. Now, let's go over here to verse 28. Therefore, God give thee of the dew. He is now talking. He, and let's go to verse 27. He came near and kissed him, and he smelled and the smell of his raiment. He was talking to Jacob. He thought he was talking to Esau. Are you hearing me? This is a pattern. And guess what, woman of God? We don't do this. This is a pattern of God, but we don't do this. We don't do it. We don't do it at home with our children, and we don't do it at church. Are you hearing me? This is a pattern from God, and we, as the body of Christ, and we, as children of God, we need to grab a hold of this pattern. Because God is not pouring into us to take it to the grave. He's pouring into us that when you go to the grave, you're supposed to go empty. You're not supposed to go full. You're not supposed to go empty. Are you hearing me? You're, so, you're not supposed to go full. You're supposed to go empty. Right. Are you hearing me? And so here it is. He said, and he came there, kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said, see, the smell of my son is the smell of the field, which the Lord had blessed. Are you hearing me? God is not looking for people that's laying on the couch. When Elijah, glory to God, passed Elisha, Elisha was out in the field working. Are you hearing me? We want a whole lot and we're doing nothing. 
That's true. Okay, here we go. Verse 28. Therefore God give thee. Here it is. Here's the impartation. Therefore God give thee of the dew of heaven. He's prophesying. He's imparting into him what he had. How is it, Isaac, glory to God, how is it that you were successful? How is it that when you came up against, against turmoil or problems, how did you come over? How did you conquer it? It is because my father imparted the blessings of the Lord to me. Okay, here it is. Glory to God. So he said, God give thee of the dew of heaven, the fatness of the earth, and the plenty of the corn and wine. Let people serve thee. Nobody is shouting right there. Let people serve thee. Let people serve thee. Let me send people that's going to help you and say, I got it. Woo, glory to God. And nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over my brethren and let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Curse be everyone that, cur- my God, from Zion, everybody that will try to curse you, gonna be, be cursed. Yeah. Yeah. Can you talk about that? I had to get up on that. How do both sides? Because when somebody try to curse you, you gotta be careful what comes out of your mouth. Because if you try to curse somebody, you gonna curse yourself. And it says, let me tell you something. If they don't want to help you, and you got the blessings of heaven backing you up, you listen, listen. You ain't got to tear nobody name down. You don't have to run nobody down. God said, if they curse you, they gonna be cursed. You don't have to worry about because when the blessing of the Lord is up on you, he said, if they will not help you and I told them to help you, I'm going to shut every door. Look at y'all looking at me. It's not about somebody speaking doom and gloom on somebody. But if God touched somebody to help you and they do not help you, God said already, if they don't help you, then they trying to curse you. And if they trying to curse you, they going to be cursed. He said, and blessed be, and blessed be he that blessed thee. Everybody that bless you gonna be blessed. Yeah. Everybody that if my God help you is gonna be blessed. Lord have mercy. Glory to God. Are you hearing me? You got to understand. Listen, listen. I don't know about you, but then nobody, amen, lay their hands on me and then begin to speak this over me. Am I talking? You nobody, talking. nobody laid their hands and spoke. They laid their hands for me to be an apostle. They laid their hands for me to be a prophetess. They laid their hands, come on, but they didn't lay their hands on me to speak the blessings that the business part would come to fruition. Who am I talking to? When you have the blessing of the Lord up on you, he said, this is what's supposed to happen. You ain't got to look for employees. They're going to come looking for you. You will not struggle. You're going to have the clients that you want to have, said the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Why? Because the impartation of the blessing. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, that's what you was missing. <laughs> you got prayer down pat. You got studying of the word down pat. But every time you go and deal with business, it doesn't jump start. It doesn't flow. That's because you was missing an ingredient. And the ingredients in the word of God is the pattern of God. I come to tell you that God told me. I don't got to just touch your hand. I ain't got to lay my hands on your head. Glory to God. But I'm getting ready to impart the blessing on you. I'm getting ready to pack the blessing on you. Glory to God. They got to bow down to you. Are you hearing me? They got to. They don't like you. It don't matter. Because the blessing going to speak louder than you. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor favor is going to be upon you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got that scripture. Get that scripture. Glory to God. If, this, if, if God is talking to you, glory to God, I just need you to line up right here. Glory to God. We bless God for you. We're getting ready to turn off here, but we ain't turning off here. God bless you. Amen.